Hello my lovelies! Uh, today we are doing another of our variation on a sock bun series because I love the sock bun. I think it is super versatile because we can just change it up in tiny ways and make it look different um, and it's one of the really really fast hairstyles that looks nice and neat and we know I love the neat hairstyles. So um, this one uh, I'm referring to as the four strand sparkler uh, because we're using lots of rhinestones in it and a four strand braid so you know yeah um, it's me real creative on the naming front uh, but that's okay so for this one we are going to need uh, two hair ties Ta -da! Um, and clear ones um, if you think you need them um, for the end of our four strand um, some bobby pins, I'm going to use the big long ones, uh, a bun form, I've got my big one, I really need to replace it though, it's starting to shred on me a little bit, it's pretty old by now, um, and various rhinestone accoutrements, um, I have two kinds of rhinestone pins, I have straight pins with rhinestones on the ends, um, I have these that I got from one of the like dance companies, um, they actually stay in much better because they're the wiggly ones with bright stones. On the ends, I have a couple of dragonflies that have rhinestones and the piece de resistance, a tiara, but we're not going to use it like a tiara. Ooh, I know. So, um, that's in the decorating portion. So, uh, yeah, I was doing this one a lot while my grandma was in the hospital because it was a nice way for me to get my hair up. Um, and look nice without a lot of effort. Um, okay, so we're gonna, you know me, I like a little something something in the front. So instead of the regular part, we're actually gonna part on the other side to give us some volume. Um, it worked pretty well. Um, when you pull all your hair back, you probably have two places where it definitely goes up. Um, if we were dudes, that would be where our hairline was receding. Um, my hairline is not receding much, I don't think. I don't know. Um, that's just where it, my hair goes. So um, I'm just going to pull out a section. Uh, that seems like a goodly section. Um, keep this up here in the front. And uh, I'm going to pull the rest into a ponytail. So I'll be right back after I do that because I don't need to show you guys how to pony. We do want it up right here though because um, we want it to be pretty from the front, which means none of that back ear bun we need not quite totally on the top of our head, but at least up by our crown, so. Back in All right, so we're ponied. Uh, we're ponied high. We're gonna go ahead and do our sock bun before we do this. So uh, you need your bun form and you need another hair tie because this is how I prefer to do my sock buns. I know some of you guys like to fully roll because then you get, um, a nice fat bun. When I fully roll mine, they're like this big. When I can get them to work, but mostly I don't because, as you can see, I can't reach the end of my hair to fully roll a sock bun. Um, yeah, they never, they're never neat and they look terrible, so that's why I don't do those. So, any hoodles, let's do a sock bun. Um, let me brush this out first though, so it'll be smooth. Um, but yeah, the way I always do my sock buns is I just slide my bun form down and then spread the hair around and then I use another hair tie to hold it in place. But you see, we'll be able to see it from the front, which is why we do a pony that is so high. Okay, then you just got to cover your bun form. Um, I love a big bun form but I have enough hair to cover one. Um, you may need a smaller one, or you may be able to do a much bigger one than I do, um, which is awesome. And if you do find a bigger bun form, uh, kindly let me know in the comments because uh, I might be interested in that. There we go. Dee -dee -dee. Just pop that around. Look at that perfect bun. So, um, all of our hair up here, we want to 
separate it, which is hard with my pin there, um, and then pull it to the back. Sometimes by leaving the things out in the front, I just make things harder for myself. But anyways, there we go. Like so. Um, I'm just going to undo this now. I'm going to double check and see. Yep, okay. Just want to make sure none of my uh, bun form was showing. And then we've got this. So before we do that, um, we're actually going to go ahead and take care of this. Um, and you guys know what's coming. I'm going to make a kind of poof. Of course I am. Um, you can do all sorts of things with this. Um, you go back there. Uh, any, like any kind of thing you want to do. Like maybe you would just prefer it be smooth down like this. You see that uh, you can do that. Um, maybe you want to do a victory roll. You can do that. You can do whatever you want. I am twisting mine underneath like so and then I'm pushing it up so you see my twist comes to the front um, just for something different. Now I'm going to uh, clip this off for the moment. Actually I'm home I have clippies. Um, I'm going to clip this off for the moment like so. Yay. No I'm not leaving that there. I'm going to really hit it with some hairspray so it won't move. Stand back y'all. Yeah. Hairspray. Oh, a little close with the hairspray. That's okay. It'll dry. I'm going to leave it there for now. We will remove it at the end. Uh, give that hairspray plenty of time to dry. And all the rest of this, I am simply gently taking it back wrapping it around this bun form and pinning it off. Um, and that's all we're doing with that. Seriously. That's just for fancy up front. Something different. Okay, now four strand braid. Everything back here, we're gonna braid into a big, fat four strand braid. Um, the first time I did it, I did the four strand twist braid but since it twists, etc., it wasn't as fat as I wanted, so we're doing a different four strand. There are lots and lots and lots and lots of four strand braids, but this is the one we're doing. You separate into two, you separate that into two. You want all your sections to be as equal as you can get them. Another two, there we go. All right, so. All the way to our right, we want to take it over the strand next to it, behind the next strand, and then over the outside strand. What was formerly the outside strand, we are going to bring under, then over, then under. So you see, this is a four strand braid. Um, I'm trying to think. This one is hard <laughs> because by the time you get over here to the outside, it it will automatically go where it wants to. But your outside, think of it as weaving. It will come over and then you have to go under. And then as it comes over, the other side is going under and that's the one you're going to switch to. And then it goes over and under. Hopefully you can just see what I'm doing. Uh, one of the nice things about having blonde hair is when I show you the braids, they are easier for you to um, see sometimes than my my brunette sisters. Uh, I still love, I love brunette hair, but yeah, sometimes it's, it's a little harder to figure out what's going on. Now, I am not pulling this super tight. Um, I'm actually trying to leave it so that hopefully it will look fairly the same thickness throughout um, because what of course we're doing with this is we're going to wrap it around and we want a nice thick band um, that's just kind of what we're going for so um, we're almost to the end here I'm just going to go ahead and finish this up and then I will see you once this is all braided okay all right. so 
we have our four strand um, and we're going to wrap it around the bun. <laughs> I told you it's easy. So it's nice and fat, which is good. Um, you can give it a, one of these little things if you'd like to fluff it a little more. But um, we're going to, since we braided from this side, we're just going to go ahead and go around this side like so. So see how nice and fat it is? And we're going to come up. And um, we need to tuck this tail end behind this portion of braid. So just sort of make a little pocket, tuck this down inside, pop it back up in the back, make sure we're fairly tight. Uh, we, can, we can do a little better on this side. There we go. And then pop it underneath back here. And then we're just going to pin this down. Um, you just got to tuck your ends between your braid and your bun. And I'm going to pin around the bottom. Um, yep, just pinning right up under the bun form so that our braid won't uh, shift on us wonky uh, throughout the day. Um, usually it takes about four pins um, and it'll stay for me. Um, if you have super slippery hair, maybe not. That's only three pins, I think. Maybe that was four. I don't know. I can't count. Um, let's have a look-see. Looks good. Like I said, it's a sock, but it looks like a sock bun. But I really like the big fat braid. I think it looks really pretty. Um, so next is when we make it sparkle. Um, joy. So I have lots of pins that are going to go in this. But the first thing we need to put in is our tiara. Now, usually you would just pop your tiara in like so. We're not doing that. Uh, we're flipping the tiara over this way and we're popping it in the side. Um, this side looks excellent, so we'll probably pop it in this side. Uh, since it's a little bigger and we'll cover more ground, that would be my guess. Uh, both sides actually look somewhat decent, but um, I think this side does look better, so we're going to cover this side with this. It's going to take a little uh, fiddling, quite frankly. Um, I did make sure and buy the tiara that has these little nubbins on the end instead of the ones with the giant cones that keep it. Yeah, so we're using this one. Um, it always takes a little bit of fiddling to get it to pop in exactly the way you want. Um, so it will stay in because you've got to get it under that bun form. Make sure it's fat enough. Okay, I'm going to fiddle. We don't want to watch 10 minutes of me fiddling to get this sucker in. Uh, but yeah, you're going to have to fiddle to make it, um, or not, it went in. The last time I did this, it took fiddling forever. Anyway, that's what it looks like um, on the side. And as you see, it is no longer a tiara. Really, it's just something fancy. Um, so if you're one of my beauty queens, or you just still have a tiara from prom, or some sort of cosplay, or I don't know your life, maybe you're like me and you just have tiaras for reasons. Although I was a beauty queen when I was little. Um, yeah, turn that sucker upside down and now it's sparkly. So uh, what we're going to do, since I have two kinds of pins, I have these that are slightly oblong and these that are totally round, we're going to do those. Uh, which means uh, where this is all woven, I am just occasionally going, like, that one's an oblong, so the next one will be round. Um, and I'm just going to poke those in. Um, this is why we didn't have to use so many pins around the outside, because these will help us um, by keeping our braids all nice and together. Um, now, so I can get my spacing right. There we go. I do see um, my end sticking out over here a little bit. Uh, can we bring some hair up from this over top? Oh, I think I can. There. Now they're not apparent. I'll go me. All right. Let's look at the other side. So I had an oblong. Oh, I might want to put a pin to hold that down or not. We'll see. Might have just been me futzing. Um, whoop. there we go. 
I like to put the pins uh, where there's definitely like some weaving bits. Like they seem to go in better. Dun, dun, dun. And then I should have space for one. Oh, only one. Since it is on the back of my head, I'm going to use one of these uh, because they tend to stay in better. Um, yay. So how is that looking? That is looking pretty spiffy. All right. And of course I have these. Now these are for in case this does not work out the way I want it to. It should be pretty stiff. Let's see. Oh, it stayed. Hairspray. Um, but how does that look? I might want to go ahead and add a couple sparklers. Um, it does look like it's defying gravity, which is excellent. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and add a couple of these just to make sure that it continues to defy gravity in the way that I want it to. Um, they're just little uh, barrettes. Like, they wouldn't really hold much up, but you can slide them in to decorate, which is, of course, what I'm going to do with them. That's even too thick. <laughs> like, they hold almost no hair. But I didn't buy them to hold hair. I bought them to pin into things to make them beautiful, because that's the kind of person I am. Um, and then we'll put another one here. It's an awful lot on one side. Okay, now, that should be it. That should be our final bit. Isn't that pretty? Isn't it pretty? You guys, it's just a sock bun. But it goes to show you that you can make a sock bun look really stellar and fancy with a little extra braiding, a little funkiness up front. Like, I like this. I think this looks fancy. And all it is is hairspray. I did get a new hairspray, though. I needed one that was a little more hardcore because I wanted to start experimenting with things like this. And it is Headstrong Volume Hairspray. It is maximum hold from Aussie. Um, and it works like gangbusters. Uh, I still like my turquoise one for just, you know, getting stuff to stay, but like bigger things like this that I really need it to hold, um, this stuff is excellent, as you saw. <laughs> um, yeah. But any hoodles, yeah, this is simple. This is simple and easy. The most time-intensive portion is going to be placing all of your sparkles. But, I mean, does this not look like something fancy? You could wear someplace fancy? It does. It does to me, anyway. Um, and I don't think it's super tacky, even with all the extra sparkle on one side. I don't think it is. I think it's still really, really pretty. I think it is just fancied up for a fancy occasion. I just wore it to the hospital to see my grandmother because that's the kind of person I am. Oh well. Um, yeah. Oh, here's a short story for any of you who care. Um, yes, I had my hair done up like this and I was wearing one of my pretty black dresses and my, you know, jewelry the whole deal like I usually do when I leave the house and uh, I had to on our way back from the hospital we had to stop at Boscov's because uh, my mom needed to pick up her makeup her foundation because she was completely out and I mean my mom's like me she presents her best self to the world and um, so we stopped and I'm just kind of wandering around the perfume counter seeing if there's anything new or whatnot and this woman goes Oh, where are you going? Because I was wearing a dress and had my hair done. And I'm like, nowhere. She goes, oh, do you dress like this all the time? And I said, yeah, pretty much. She's like, oh, good for you. And I thought that was really cool. Um, because, yeah, good for me. I just, I want to feel as good as I can when I leave the house. And you guys know I have some issues sometimes. Um, with pain, etc. And I just really don't feel up to stuff. But I find that if I put on my battle armor, which is my hair did, my face did, and nice clothes, um, that's my armor. And I feel like I can face the world because I'm prepared. Um, 
yeah, apparently it works. Uh, but that was cool. Um, another lady gave me dirty looks, but, you know, haters, what are you going to do? So, any hoodles, um, yeah, enjoy this hairstyle. Uh, and send me pictures if you do it. And my gosh, if you have tons of rhinestones, put them in your hair and take a picture so I can see them because I love rhinestones so much. You have no idea. Okay, I love you guys. I will see you next time. Until then, have a great day. Bye, guys.